Okay, guys, we are continuing uh, solving problems from this very famous book, Fundamentals of Physics by Halliday Resnick Walker, one of my favorite books in physics. We are solving chapter 21, Coulomb's Law. Okay, and 8th edition, I am solving 8th edition here. Uh, problem number 3 I am taking in this session. I have already written data here. We have one of the simplest possible the question a particle of charge plus 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb is 12 centimeter distant from a from a second particle of charge minus 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb calculate the magnitude of uh, the electrostatic force between the two particles so extremely simple we are given two charges and distance we had to find out force between them so it's just substitution problem we'll uh, use coulomb's law we already know Coulomb's law, F is equal to gamma Q1 Q2 divided by R square. Gamma, I'm using for electrostatic constant, which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, whose value is 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. So this value is in SI system, Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. Q1 and Q2 are given. We are just interested in finding the magnitude of the force. So minus sign and plus sign have nothing to do with it. Minus sign and plus sign, the two charges are unlike. They will simply tell you that they are attracting each other. The force between them is attractive in nature. So rest we have nothing to do with minus and plus. We will just use the values to find out the magnitude of this force F. So uh, F is equal to, let us substitute the values, gamma is... 9 into 10 to the power 9 into Q1 is 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 into Q2 is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 again then divided by distance squared. Now distance is not in SI system, distance is in centimeters so we will first convert it this is 12 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. So let us use it here now. 12 into 10 to the power minus 2, minus 2, with the square, minus 2 with the square, r square. So, after simplifying this, after solving this, this comes out to be, the force comes out to be, I have worked this out, 2.8 newtons, okay, 2.8 newtons. So it can't go simpler than that. We are given two charges, we are given distance between them, we have to find out force between them, 2.8 newtons, okay, 2.8 newtons.